Hello. This video is about the Sukkah Hanukkah connection. There was a story in the news recently about a woman who disappeared eight days before and was finally found in a miracle. It said it was a miracle. The bottom of a 20 foot ravine, her car had gone off the side. She had no food or water for eight days and was able to survive, which is fantastic. And of course, when I started seeing a headline that said miracle eight days, thinking about the Hanukkah story and how the legend of the Talmud is that the, of course, you know it, that the oil was only supposed to last one day, but it lasted eight while the rider got back from a four day there and four day back journey. Now, the reason why that story is in the Talmud is because the Talmud was written under Roman dominion and the, the Jews were afraid to tell the true story to elaborate in the Talmud about the real political nature. And I talk about this in detail in my Hanukkah, the truth about Hanukkah video. What I really wanted to talk about here, though, is the Sukkah Hanukkah connection. The real reason that Hanukkah is eight days is because six weeks before, at Sukkah's time, they couldn't celebrate Sukkot because the temple was desecrated. And we know this because if you read the book of Maccabees, which uh, is not in the Bible, it's in the Apocrypha, but it's books written by Jews, about Jews, about Hanukkah, it's pretty clear that, it, that Hanukkah was really meant as a celebration. They did Hallel. They waved uh, palm branches. So it's clear that they had missed Sukkot so much, they felt the first chance they got, once the temple was de rededicated, on the 25th of Cheshvan, they were going to celebrate Sukkot again. So it makes perfect sense that it was an eight-day holiday. And the tradition about eight days and um, uh, light came later. In fact, there's another rabbinic source, as I mentioned in that other video, that uh, earlier rabbinic source, that they found eight spears with candles in them. So there's a great connection between Sukkot and Hanukkah. Without Hanukkah, really the next holiday well, in the Talmud would be Tu B'Shvat, but in the Bible it would be Purim. You'd have five months. So you have Hanukkah now, which is really a second Sukkot, and then developed a life of its own uh, based on the political and historic significance of the rebellion against the Syrian Greeks at that time. And watch my Hanukkah video for more details about that. The Sukkot-Hanukkah connection.